I just graduated, bitch. Let's get it. I just want to thank everybody who texted me when I put my when I posted my graduation pictures. I just want to thank everybody who uh, sent me tweet at me talking about congratulations, congratulations. Y'all, y'all real supportive. I fuck with all y'all motherfucker. Savage Network lit as fuck, man. Y'all already know, man. Probably just fuck here, man. Oh, let me just switch it to something else. I'll be right back. Ah, that's better. Oh, but yeah, I just want to thank everybody who tweeted at me, who uh, commented on my Instagram pictures, talking about congratulations, man. Man, I fuck with all y'all savage network, savage network, related as fuck, man. Y'all already know, if you're, not, if you're not following me on all my social medias, they're going to be right here. Go follow me right now, you feel me? Anyways, um, what was I going to say? Alright, today I got a little story for y'all, man. I did so much shit. So much shit just to earn this dumbass diploma, this piece of paper, man. I cheated a lot to get to this damn point, but that's not the thing I want to talk about. I want to talk about all the savage shit I did. I did a lot of savage shit, but there was one thing that in particular that stuck out for me for some reason. I don't even know why. It wasn't even that relevant to graduation, but it just stuck out in my head like, wow, I can't believe I really did that. Y'all probably wondering what the fuck did I just did I do? Did I do? Well, in middle school, right? I used to go to, I don't know if I should even say school, yo, the teacher might track me down and try, <laughs> and try to fucking <laughs> arrest me or some shit. But fuck it. I used to go to Aspira Charter School. It was, it, it was a longer name than that, but I can't remember. I'll put it on the screen for y'all so y'all can see. It was like that, yeah, I went to that school, that middle school. And I think it was like sixth or seventh grade. I was bruh. In middle school, I was broke as hell. So I was finding any type of way to get some motherfucking money, bruh. Cause they was selling shit and I was bruh, I had to get the oatmeal cream pies. I had to get the crackers. But nigga was just hungry as fuck, man. Nigga, nigga needed to eat. Nigga needed to eat and you need money to eat. So I so happened in uh one of my math classes, and she was like, she had like field trip money. And she put it in like these little container shits, like by her desk. And then like one day I just like went by her desk like to grab a pencil or some shit. Cause I ain't, I ain't had no pencil. And I just see like dumb money just right there. Oh shit. Oh shit. And my mom was like, nah, don't do it, don't do it, Jeff, don't do it. You might get caught. There's probably cameras in here and shit. You might get caught. But my mom, like, in my mind I was like that, but my body was like sick. Grab it. I was getting urges to just whoop, whoop. So I, I just left it there. Left it there. Next day, I came back. The money's still there. The teacher left the classroom. I'm like, oh shit, this is my chance. Ain't nobody looking at her desk. All the kids like facing this way. All, like, all the kids are facing this way, and her desk is like in the back. So like, I was like, I'm Gucci. I could just grab it. I just don't know if there's cameras in the motherfucking room or not. So I took a big ass risk. I was like. Maybe if there's no cameras, she won't even notice that. I probably, I took a dollar. So I took a dollar the first time, all right? I did this shit multiple times. Don't judge me, all right? I'm, I don't do that shit that much <laughs> anymore. <laughs> all right, so I took a dollar, right? After I took that dollar, I'm like, yes, I'm lit. I'm lit. I'm about to get me a pizza because you can buy pizza at the school and shit for a dollar. I'm like, yeah, I'm lit. I'm about to buy a pizza. And, um... For some reason, I just wasn't satisfied with just taking one fucking dollar. One dollar, I was like, wow, one dollar, what the fuck, I'm gonna, I just, all right, I bought a pizza. After I bought a pizza, I was like, Damn. I need more money. <laughs> so the next day, the teacher left the classroom again, bruh. Damn, my voice cracking this shit. All right, the teacher left the classroom again. So, and, and nobody looking, nobody looking at my direction, so, I took a five. <laughs> I took a five. <laughs> and, then, um, and then, you know, I went to buy, I bought two pizzas. And I started, I bought my homeless pizzas. 
I was just spitting that bitch. I spit like, all right. So after I spit that five dollars, I still wasn't satisfied. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a bad person. Please, please don't do this. Please don't do this. All right. So I still wasn't satisfied. I'm just taking that. Well, how much total? Like six dollars. So I was like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it no more. So I, I just stopped doing it. A week passed. The money is still there. I was like, when the hell is this field trip? <laughs> so I was like, man, fuck it. I took a 20 out of that bitch. <laughs> oh my God, I was balling from school to home, which is a corner store. I was just balling with the $20. I was in sixth grade, man. I thought I was balling just a little bit, you feel me? Because I was broke as fuck. Broke as fuck. I wore the same shoes every day, same fucking, I washed the same shirt. Every day to go to school, bro. That shit was so fucking, uh, what's the word? Um, faded. That shit was so fucking faded, bro. Y'all, oh my god, it was horrible. Middle school was horrible for me, and I had a bald head look. Oh my god, it was horrible. And then, um, yeah, we passed. I took a 20. I was balling, balling, spent it. I just needed more money, bro. And eventually, I took all of the field trip money. I just took all of it. I didn't give a fuck no more. I didn't care if I got caught. I just took all of it. Just took all. And then I thought I was good because I, I thought to the 20, I was like, whoa, this bitch, doesn't she count this money? She knows that there's $20 missing. I guess she did. So I, I took all of it, put it in my pocket, and then once, once school let out, I left. Went straight home. I didn't even tell nobody I took it. I didn't spend it that day. I didn't do shit. Just took it and went home. And the next day, we come back into class. She like, she questioned everybody like, guys, who the fuck took my money? <laughs> I was just like, oh shit! I knew I should have took it all of it. I knew, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. But your boy slick. Ain't nobody saw my ass. Nobody, not one person, seen me take that money. Yo. Not one single fucking person. Oh my god. It, I felt like I felt like a fucking master thief, bro. Like not one person seen me. My black ass hold on. I'm kicking my damn shit. Not one person seen my black ass take that money, bro. I don't know how the fuck, but I was just that slick. I felt like a master thief, right? You thought I'll just learn from how she's just gonna investigate and she gonna question everybody who the fuck took her money, right? You think I'll just learn, right? that not to take any more, even though I took all of it. So, since she never figured out who took all the money, she had to put her own money for the field trip money, right? So the kids can still go to the field trip because she don't know who took the money. And she gonna put it in the same fucking bin, bro. The same fucking bin. Honestly, I thought it was a trap. <laughs> I thought it was a trap at first. And then, Two more weeks pass by, the money is still in there. So I'm like, should I take it again? Should I take this risk and take it again? Am I this savage? Am I this savage enough to take it again? And y'all probably already know the answer. Yes, the fuck I am. <laughs> I took that shit again. Nobody saw me, yo. Oh, bro, I was right there, then and there, I knew. I was the master fucking thief. Ain't nobody could catch me, bro. Ain't nobody can catch me, bro. Nobody. Whew. I was balling for like a week, bro. I, bro, I didn't even think about buying any shoes or clothes or nothing. I just wanted food, cause I'm a fucking fat ass bitch. But I just kept robbing her, robbing her, robbing her every fucking day after that shit, bro. And then eventually. Eventually, I almost got caught. Almost, almost. After that, after that, after this day, I got caught. I was like, "That's I'm done. I'm not taking this shit no more." All right. So this is how much I got caught. This. Oh my God, I can't even talk. So this is how I almost got caught. When I went to take like the last like thirty, forty dollars, I was still there. I took like what the future. I think I took like. $300 for me. Yeah, it was like a good two, three hundred or some shit. Some shit like that. Two fifty or some shit. Bills cost us three hundred, but 
after I took all that, came back and seen it, it was still feel after like two weeks. After two weeks, I'm like, what the fuck? Is this lady doing still keeping money in this fucking bed? So I went. No, no, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. She didn't keep the money in the bin no more. She had it in something else, and it was locked. But it was like the most basic family dollar cheap ass lock. You could just like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but you could just like open it, just like, if you use force, it'll unlock, it's just bop. Or like the ones, the ones that you could like stick a penny in or like a needle in, just turn that bitch. I was like, what the fuck is this? So I opened it, and it was like, it was like two fifties, a couple twenties, and, and a whole lot of fives. So I took all the fives. I took all the fives, and then uh, I left with them. When I took the fives and put them in my pocket, as I was putting the, the bin back, she walked in the classroom. I was like, oh my fucking God. She walked in the classroom, and like she was facing the wall. She didn't see me yet, but I was right there, like at the desk. I was like, oh my god, if this bitch turns around right now, I'm fucking done. I'm done for. I'm 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 gonna get caught red handed, bro. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done for. There's nothing I can do right now. I'm gonna get in trouble. My mom's gonna beat the black off my ass when I get home. Cause they most definitely gonna call my parents. Then they're gonna be like, I gotta pay all this money back. And my parents didn't probably didn't have that fucking tough money to pay it back. Oh my god. Y'all know how big of an asshole put I would've got that day. But luckily, for some miracle fucking reason, <laughs> I don't know if God was on my side or some shit, helping me steal some shit. <laughs> but this bitch, like, as soon as she about to turn around, somebody knocks on like the classroom door, and she turns right back to the, <laughs> to the door, <laughs> and opens it, and I just run to my fucking desk. <laughs> I run, I clear it to my desk. Y'all was like, y'all done. I'm not taking no more money from this lady. I clear it to my fucking desk. And then, uh, and then, and then she's like, I clear it and I fucking, I hit my leg so hard on the desk like while I was running. Like, oh my God. I don't know if the journey was inside of me, but I didn't feel that shit until after I sat down and I started coming out. I was like, fuck wrong with my leg. And I just see a big ass fucking like, like dent or some shit. Like, it felt like a dent on my damn leg, yo, and it hurt it so bad. I was like, oh my God, this shit hurts so bad. What the fuck did I do? And I'm trying to rethink, and I see that I, I fucking, I probably hit my leg, because I see where the desk was cricket. And I was like, damn, I probably hit my leg on that desk. Bro, that shit hurt it so much. And the sound of that, me hitting my leg when I sat down, it turned around. She was like, what the fuck you doing, Jevin? <laughs> I was like, nothing, nothing. <laughs> she was like, you better be. I was like, oh my God, my heart was pounding that day. Yo, y'all know, bro. I feel like I could pump. I feel like my heart could pump like 3,000 gallons per second of blood through my fucking body. Yo, oh my God. It was ridiculous, bro, how much my heart was pumping. But eventually, eventually she just forgot about it. She just didn't keep any money in, in that whole room no more. She just no money in that room no more. Oh man, that shit was so scary. I thought I was gonna, gonna get caught. I thought I was getting my ass whooped. It was ridiculous, man. It was crazy, man. Middle school was like the litest year for me. It was the fucking the poorest year I was in, but it was also the litest year, man. So I can't complain. But anyways, like I said, thank y'all whoever congratulated me on on all my social media. Remember if you don't follow, follow me on my social media right here. Thank you to all y'all who congratulated me for graduating, you feel me? Even though I didn't work really hard, I, just, I worked hard. I cheated hard, just to be accurate. I cheated hard, it's from what my other folks you feel me, I did. And anybody wondering if I'm gonna go to college, all I gotta say is, uh, psych, peace, bitch.